So the web slinger, my first Mayhem 10 Guardian Takedown completion reward. Jeez, I should have just stuck to playing Destiny with its repetitive seasonal content because this thing is just straight up hot trash. There it is people, end of video. This thing is real bad. Now if you do want to see a proper review of it, stay tuned, it follows. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Okay, so the web slinger, great name, great reference, great concept, terrible execution. This thing being exclusive to the new raids last boss is absolutely daft, but completing something so hard and getting this seems like an absolute joke. And if I'm honest, this weapon even at a Mayhem 10 struggles even when playing Mayhem levels below a Mayhem 5. The whole balance just seems completely off. Now I don't know if this is due to the weapon and the default stat values with it, or the fact Mayhem 2.0 and the latest patch just seems to have broken the balance of the game. This honestly should have been called the Web Ticular, as that's all it does to enemies, as you can see by the footage in the background now. Playing the slaughter shaft with this thing, it does nothing to enemies. So the weapon, more about it, is an exclusive drop from Scourge the Invincible, the last boss of the Guardian Takedown Raid. It drops offering two of I believe all elements and it's a laid off AR. I don't know why when I first saw this I thought it was a CLV weapon which I may have said in a previous video. Again guys, excuse my idiocy, it's been a long week, I'm tired. Get off my balls. Well actually, that feels kinda good, but hey. So what we actually have here is a weapon which just isn't good enough no matter which way you look at it. It just isn't powerful enough. The main concept of it and the way it shoots two different elements, uh, those shots ricochet, is pretty good. The design of the thing is pretty good, but that's it. That's all it has. Now the more I go on about it, the more bitter I sound about the thing, and that's because I am bitter. It's a trash weapon rewarded for one of the most hardest bugged activities the game has. Now Gearbox have confirmed there are problems which will be soon sorted, but even still. After everything's fixed, I still don't see this thing being anything anyone would want unless a massive buff hits it. It may actually have some super unique benefit, but finding it was the least of my woes. The most worrying part is the fact they believe this is acceptable as a legendary item to add into the loot pool of the new raid. Six new legendaries, three new weapons. I don't know guys, I expected more. If you guys have this thing, let me know what you think about it down below. I mean, all hope is not lost. There are two times variants to this thing. It has a second firing mode, which could come in handy. Yeah, for blowing yourself up because it's just that bad. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. My thoughts on the web, particular. If you have this thing, let me know what you think about it down below in that comments section. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Uh, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you want to support me directly, you can by hitting that join button and becoming a member of my channel. I do appreciate that support. Again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.